Well, I just think you're playing a, a very exceptional football team and you just can't, you, know, you can't make mistakes if you're going to have turnovers, which we've had, we had in the second half. And if you don't match those turnovers on the other side on the defense, which we were doing early, you know, it's just hard to stay with a team like this. You've got to get lucky. They've got to give some to you. I mean, you've got to play almost a perfect game. And we, we gave a really good effort. I'm really proud of the effort that the guys, guys gave. I really did believe that they were fighting out there, but just too much firepower on the other side. All right, let's go back to the, the pregame statement. Uh, I'll use the word statement. I don't know if that's what you intended, but uh, you did not travel your most explosive offensive player. Uh, what were you hoping to accomplish there, and, and was that a message at all to the rest of the team? And how did you, you know, how do they respond, did you think? You know, Matt, I think I would love to talk about all that stuff, but that stuff is always in-house with us. That's family business. And, uh, you know, I love that young man, and I want nothing but the best for him and his mom. And, and I – I've sat in their living room and I told him I'd take care of him like he was my own son. And I would not do anything to him that I would not do to my own son. Now they're going to say, well, coach, you don't have a son, but I got four daughters and I got two sons in laws and I treat them like family. So uh, that stuff's internal and uh, I can't wait to get back to, to talk to him and hopefully everything's going to be okay. And, and he's going to be with us for many more battles to come. All right. Understood. So we saw really two MVPs today, at least uh, one is Garrett Williams he has a pick six at the end of the half. How did it change things on the sideline? What did you see on the play? Well, I mean, he did, a, he did a fantastic job of obviously reading the quarterback's eyes and getting the pick. And then for he ran that ball. I mean, we may have a new punt return or kickoff return. And he pushed that thing up the sideline. And I thought he could have kept it there. But then, you know, that's the reason why I'm old and he's young. He saw something and broke it to the right. And then he walked in, you know, four or five yards with the ball, showcasing the ball. I was sitting there going, wow. You know, here, here's another young guy showing up, just letting you know how young this team is. And for him to make a play like that on a stage like this against a team like that, uh, hopefully he's going to be around here a long, long while. Uh, it, was, it was very exciting to see. On the offensive side, the MVP coach missing something is Nikeem Johnson, your two longest plays from scrimmage. What did he offer today? Well, you know, Nikeem is that senior. You know, he did not have a, you know, what, what him and I would consider a, a stellar junior year, and he came with an extremely right attitude. And he was going to do things right, not not settle for being average. And he just – the camp that he had and the effort that he's been putting in in practice has been amazing, and I'm really excited for him that it's not only is it showing up in games, but it's showing up against some of the best competition in the country and on national TV. I'm happy for him. Thanks, Coach. Next we'll go to Chris Carlson from Syracuse.com. Uh, you know, you talked about not liking what you saw through the middle of the week. Um, was there a moment or point when you felt good about um, how your team was going to respond? And, and was there any instance of leadership that you saw that you kind of felt like contributed to their great effort today? I thought the seniors picked it up this week, but I, I'm going to tell you this right now. I had a, every time, this is, this is a sidebar. This is, this is an analogy. Every time I've had a coach walk up to me and say, this was a great pregame warmup. These guys are really ready to play. We get smoked. We absolutely get smoked. In fact, it's to the point now where I would gut punch somebody that does that to me. They know they that to coach. But you, you really can't tell what kind of game it's going to be until you get into the game. They're just so young. They're so diverse, different backgrounds. But I felt like they were going about their work in a serious manner by when we got to the middle and the end of the week, which all that does is give us a chance. And, uh, and when you look at the game, it looks like maybe we didn't have a chance, but it was close for a while, and uh, I thought the guys played well. I thought they gave a lot of effort. 